It's from the sperm whale. Sorry, no, not I, the sperm. <laughs> that's a kind. Not of the whale. sperm. The whale. The male whale. Oh, oh the sperm whale. Okay. <laughs> Day. I know, but I want to go back to LA. <laughs> Soon. Hello there. Good morning, sir. Okay. okay. Let's see what the clue is. Let me then go. Oh my god, I hope it's nothing outside. Ooh. It will make sense when you get there. Makes but sense. sense is spelled like like sense, like smells. Well, we've not done anything with like cologne or anything on this show. Oh. Or like body scents or like um lotion. Pethies. Pethies. Listen, I don't know the difference. Is it I say cologne. Cologne's for men. <laughs> what perfume do you wear on a daily basis? I don't just my BO. Oh, just your pheromones? Yeah, just <laughs> my own organic natural oh, de body aromas. <laughs> oh de oh, oh, de oh, oh, de oh, oh, de oh my god. Such a beautiful labyrinth you have. Thank you, Erin. Lovely to meet you. Welcome to the Scentarium. Oh, this it is scent. It is scent, yes. You're going to create your own fragrances today. Oh, yay! We were hoping that would happen. Well, it's a way of reflecting your individuality, your personality, and having your own bespoke fragrance. This is bespoke. so profesh. Oh like, I feel like only celebrities get their own perfume. Well, actually, we've had a lot of celebrities here. We've had Jamie Foxx and Katie Holmes, Zendaya, Snooki, and now you guys. And now us. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay, well, let's get started. Well, let's go. Welcome. Thank let's you. come this is through. So fun. So, we're going to actually help you create your own fragrance today. Do you wear fragrance? I do. I, I do. I have my signature scent that everyone always asks me, and I kind of almost get embarrassed because it's been the same one for like eight years now, but it's a Katy Perry one. Yeah. Okay. You don't really, I, I kind of smell it. I probably need to hair. shower as well. In your hair. Yeah, Got it's it. okay. I don't wear scents really because um, I find that my body chemistry kind of stinks with scents sometimes. She well, just was like very concerned for our episode. No, well, I, one of the things that a lot of people don't know about is their own scent personality, their own olfactory personality. And what we're going to do is we're going to give you a scent test, a personality test. Oh, good. To I'm determine to what you one. like. And then I'm going to explain to you why you're going to be able to determine which fragrance family you like. So this is fun, it's interactive. What this is going to reveal, once I add it up, is whether you like fresh or floral or woodsy or oriental fragrances. Ooh. So you can just take the test and circle the answers that reflect your personality. Okay, so I have heard this from multiple men in the past. They tend to like vanilla scents. Mm -hmm. Is that like a trend that you see with vanilla men? Vanilla is very popular because as, as we grow up, you know, when we're children and you get rewarded, I love moms, ice cream. Moms give vanilla. you vanilla ice cream, chocolate or candy. So it really does reflect wellness and good feelings. Like, okay, we so get started? go ahead. Question number one, Ooh. which of these fabrics do you prefer against your skin? Ooh. I know Lily will never say velvet. <laughs> that wasn't an option anyway. <laughs> <laughs> does anyone answer wool? Yes, some people do. Believe Ooh, it or not, some people do. Which artist inspires you most? If you were to build your dream home, oh. which of the following would you want most? What drink would you most likely order when you're out with friends? <laughs> it's weird that Coors Light is not an option. No. <laughs> which, which would, would you, you like? Mm, reading. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> you go. <laughs> which would you be likely to own? A mahogany table. <laughs> Uh, own anything of value. <laughs> a Limo, Limoges china, very very expensive china. Oh no. A oh, wonderful painting. A rocking chair. Oh, a rocking oh, chair. Antique oh, rocking chair. Just sitting at the porch and rocking. Oh, I'm gonna go. It's my dream to have a porch. I'm yeah, gonna go with uh, that. I, would, I can't well. be trusted with china. Which Finally. female icon do you admire? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Let's see. Wow, these oh. are really current people. Uh, I know no these question. People. A Jennifer Lawrence, yeah. Lady yeah. Gaga, Marilyn Monroe, or Julia Roberts. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna take Julia Roberts just to spice it up. Okay. Ooh, I want to smell like a hooker hair. on the street. Well, you have the red hair and you have the look. Yeah, so. I look you're, like a you're very Julia Roberts. No, no. Yeah. Okay. What? what male icon? Ooh, out of the okay, we have George Clooney, Jamie Foxx, Bradley Cooper, Denzel Washington. Ooh. Mm. Oh, is this based on like looks or <laughs> personality? Uh, Always personality. Got it. That yes, of course. 
George Clooney. I'm very fascinated to see how all of these choices <laughs> turn into a fragrance. <laughs> and these were, were done very specifically with a real sort of idea in mind. All right, George okay. Clooney. I've all always right. had a crush on him. Same. Okay, so now you have to do the math. Add up how many A's, B's, C's, You did not tell us there was math in all <laughs> How many questions were there? Did I count right? Big four, uh, four, eight. Eight. Oh, I did an extra. 11, I'm missing one. Sorry, Sorry. ladies, to make you have to do addition <laughs> no, so early no. in the morning. Uh, two. I don't think it matters three, on what time of day. <laughs> There are eight main fragrance families. This is a lot to digest. So what I've done is I've, I've sort of divided into four main categories. Fresh, floral, woodsy, and oriental. So if you're mostly A's, you're outdoors. You like these outdoorsy scents. Yeah, I did that. There you go. If you're B's, you like citrus and fruity. I do. If you're C's, you like florals. I do. And if you're D's, you like oriental spicy. Mm. Mm, no, so spicy. neither of you got D's, a lot of D's. No. You got mostly A's and B's. So you're basically in the fruity citrus out there, and mostly B's. You got here citrus and fruity. Well, that seems like almost the same thing. And very young, very lively, very oh, upbeat. And so I like that you got the young ones, and I got the old woods. You did ones. no, no, no. Outdoor, <laughs> out natural is not oh, old. No, not no. natural no. is beautiful. It's outdoors. It's fresh. So we'll see now what you actually make and select when we go to the perfumery. Oh my gosh, I'm so okay. excited. Okay, so welcome oh. to the perfumery. So I've got all these beautiful fragrance blends and there's a reason why they're, they're in the order they're in. The way we call it in perfumery is an olfactive pyramid. So there's a mm. pyramid and at the top you can see are the very, it's a very apex. Those are what we call the top notes. Those are the lightest, most sort of fleeting fragrances. And then the middle part is what we call the head notes or the heart of the fragrance. And then the base notes are the deepest, darkest, most long lasting fragrances. There's such a the science to this. I know. Oh, I'm so no glad idea. you said that okay. because honestly, perfumery is both an art and a science. So let's see, you ready for your fragrance I journey? I am so, so ready. I don't know if I've ever been this excited on a beauty okay. trip before. Okay, what are we sniffing here? So this is light, bright oh, I touched citrus. It. Just oh. lemons, limes, oranges, say, grapefruit. It smells like fresh orange juice that you exactly. get at a really expensive hotel and exactly. room service. Exactly. With a hint of lemon. The ones that you like, put on the left. Okay. L, L, like, left. The ones you're not so sure, put in the middle. And the I ones you really don't like, one. put on the right. And then we'll see what you come up with, okay? Yeah, All right, so here's the perfume. second one. That is green. Do you smell fresh green yeah. grass, green it leaves? Like horses. It kind of smells like those juices in a meadow. that I don't like. So you're in like, a meadow. Like a green juice? Yeah, like a green juice that like I'm like. Like kale. <laughs> yeah. Romaine okay. lettuce. No, okay. thank you. All right, you smell this one and tell me what you think. This is kind of like, oh, it smells like very familiar to me. So this I call ozonic. This is like a fresh sea breeze. It's like walking on the beach, having that wonderful fresh sea breezy it's smell. Kind of almost or, like fresh laundry. Fresh yes, laundry, exactly. Yeah, and like fresh, yeah. like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so if you like, like that, that put it on the left. Okay, mm, here's the next. I think I like that one as much. So here's the next one. Give it smells little. like a grandma's house. Because it's lavender. A lot of lavender t sometimes can smell a little old fashioned. Yeah, like if I sat on my grandma's couch, like so, the scent pops out. I think lavender just reminds me of when I get massages because they'll put the lavender Very oil to it. Exactly. Yeah. So now we're going to start on the florals, the middle notes, okay? okay. So this is a lovely, light, fresh floral. Mm. It's got bergamot, it's got lily of the this valley. This smells like you. Ooh, lily of the valley? Yes. Really? Because I was going to say, this smells like you, and your name is Lily, and it's Lily of the valley. Does. That it is does. blowing my mind right now. Are you enjoying this, ladies? Yes. This is the most fun I I've had smell things. in years. I could smell I'm things all I'm day like long. I'm like living my best life right now. <laughs> That's so great. Mm. Isn't this beautiful? This smells like hairspray, like Aquanet. <laughs> now, let, let me explain to you. This is my exotic rose floral. Now, a lot of people okay. take rose and they think it's very old fashioned because our mothers and grandmothers yes, wore it. Also, and so people, <clears throat> we, I edged it up with cognac. Ooh. I thought you were going to say cognac. And clove. I was like, way spice. to be edgy. I really like this one. Isn't this amazing? Wow, this is like some sort of spicy. It's like a spicy flower. So this one is the most sensual, exotic, I was sexy. gonna say, if Christopher Columbus had a scent, this is what I feel like he'd smell like. In what world did, is that what you just got from Yes. That? Ooh, ooh, this smells really familiar. Ooh. It smells like um, candy. It. it smells like, exactly. it smells like gummy bears. Gummy bears, yeah. Yes. 
Oh, well, and you're right, because look at the name on the, on the blotter. It's fruity, and oh, fruity is very popular oh. right now. So yeah. now, let's see what you think about this. I hope you're gonna love this. I think I get prepared. Ooh, it smells, this smells medicinal. It smells, smells like Robitussin. Only right away. I think so it's starting is, to fade This is something. our vanilla. This is our... This is vanilla? This is our balsamic vanilla, yes. Oh, I smell the balsamic. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Wait, I just need to give it some air because give I really want to love this. It's really this. beautiful. So this actually is an animal musk. What, what exactly is, is musk? Okay, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> an animal it's like, musk? Because I was going to just like nod so, and pretend like I knew, but I don't. So remember I showed you the chart and I said to musk comes from animals. Yeah. So the musk comes from the deer and the civet cat. And when they get a little sexually around, frisky. a little frisky, they make certain secretions. <laughs> and perfumers have been looking for, for interesting ingredients for centuries. Why how did anyone think how to do why? this? How does one collect said secretions? That, that's the question. <laughs> We're not going to go there right now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, do they go in and like hear it and they're like, oh, it's happening. And they like go and do a little scrape. That's, that's for the perfumers. But this is what comes <laughs> up. <laughs> Should I really, do I need to smell it? It doesn't okay. smell bad. It as smells... long as we don't see how it's got here. Go ahead, smell it. But it smells fine. It smells like a psychic's house. <laughs> it does! Doesn't it? I don't think I've really ever been to a psychic, but it kind of smells like a crystal healing place too. It smells like a crystal healing place. With a lot healing of place. incense yes. and musk and so on. Yeah. Yes. So this is amber. This is based on ambergris. And it's also used a lot in men's fragrances. Mm -hmm. It is. It, I feel like this is what my husband smells like. Yes. Should I tell you where amber is from? Amber? It's from the sperm whale. And when the sperm whale eats something... Not I'm the, sorry. Not, not I, the sperm. That's a kind of whale. Not the sperm, the whale. The male whale. Oh, oh the sperm whale. okay. When, I, I thought she missed no, like a couple no, of no, words. No, no, kind of whale would be eats, like from a humpback whale. So when he eats something like cuttlefish, the cuttlefish irritates the stomach lining. He wants to get rid of the cuttlefish. Oh, so better. It's throw So it's the whale. I now, love that she's so classy that she whispered vomit. I was like, so it's throw up? <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies, guess what? The fragrance journey is over. No, oh my God, it was an exciting journey. But now, now what you have to do is you decide and determine which fragrances you like, which blends. like a freshly showered baby. It's, it's just like clean, but then a little fruity. And here's yours. I'm so excited. Oh, it's delicious. It kind of sense. smells gender neutral, which I love. Mm -hmm. I love scents that everyone can wear. Both of them are very, I would say, perfect for you both. And there's nothing very feminine or very masculine about it. They're just your bespoke fragrances. Do you like them? So this good. like really is like speaking to me. I know. Like this isn't a personality. Oh wait, but we have to name them. Yes, you have to name them. Oh, mine's going to be in honor of Jocelyn, who is not here today. That made it sound like she was dead, but she just couldn't make that sound. <laughs> I name you a moose bush. Cause you just need like a little bit. I know what I'm gonna name her. Let's hear it. Okay, what's her name? Oud the Urn. They come in their own little satchels. Look at this. Oh my gosh, you guys, it comes in this little bottle. Can we put it on now? Yes. Yeah. So, you need to wear your fragrance wherever you want to be kissed. <laughs> so, I used to go to Paris very often in business when I did fragrances for Tiffany and Burberry and Trish McAvoy, and all the perfumers would say, We apply the fragrance from the bottom up because fragrance rises. Mm. So, ladies, apply your fragrance from the bottom up behind the ankles, in the, between I the. you meant the butt. And then in I love the thighs. I mean, don't get me wrong, but in the bazoom area and at all the pulse points because fragrance rises and when somebody oh. kisses you they want you to say they want to say oh you smell so beautiful oh you got, it. You got it in your mouth didn't you Aaron yeah, I'm sorry don't spray fragrance on your mouth in your mouth area that's why I want to be kissed no but just spray it around from the neck up because it'll, it'll it'll definitely diffuse it'll just rise I think it's time for us <laughs> I'm sorry okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is so fun. You're welcome. It was wonderful to meet you, and I hope you had a great time. Oh my gosh, yeah. this interior is my new favorite spot. It's like better I love it. When Thank I come you. to New York City, I want to come back and just hang out with Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yeah. My pleasure. Ugh. It's pouring rain. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god.
How do I do my umbrella? Ah! Okay, well, so we're a little moist, but um, <laughs> that was so amazing. I'm obsessed with her. She has such a soothing voice. I want her to like read me stories to go to bed. And she's so knowledgeable. Like I just, I've never known much about perfume. I just never cons. really thought about it. But there is such a science to it. And like the fact that we were able to create something that literally is our personalities yeah. is so cool. And guys, guess what? Click the link below because we have details on how you can get one of our scents or you both can of them. Smell just like giving us. Giving them away and it's gonna be great. I feel like that's not a real selling point. Like you can smell like us, buy it. I mean, they don't smell like us. They smell like what we want to smell like. Exactly. So. But um, that's it for today's episode. So we'll talk to you later. Smell you later. <laughs> that was funny. Click to the left to check out our brand new fitness show called Get Jacked, where we try out water yoga. Ooh. Or click to the right to see our bachelorette after show.